slide bin tutorial. Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use a slide bin. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and kindly go to slidebin.com or you can simply click the link on the description below and you will be directed on this page in which it will show you the details about this platform. And if you don't know Slidebin, it is a web-based platform that helps users create professional and visually appealing presentation slides quickly and easily, in which it is designed to simplify the process of designing and formatting slides, especially for individuals and businesses who might not have extensive design skills or time to create presentations from scratch. And aside from that, on the top panel of this website, you could also navigate some other options, including the pitch deck, the services that they offer, the list of other templates, and the tools for startups. And to access this platform, you could also avail some other plans that they offer, such as the All Access Plan and the Accelerate Plan. And below, you will see here the corresponding amount or prices and the list of benefits it included. However, aside from those plans, Slidebean also offers a free trial period for new users to test out the platform features before committing to a subscription. And to do that, all you need to do is to click the sign up button on the top right corner. And from here, just fill out all of the required information to get started or you can continue using your Google account and even your Facebook account. So in those options, I'm going to choose to continue using my Google account. And upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page. So this is what the dashboard looks like of Slidebin. And you will see here on the left side panel, some of the options that you can navigate, including dashboard, presentation template, my presentation, investor tracker, document templates, startup deals, startup lessons, and book an expert. And under the dashboard option, you will see here some of the recommended startup checklists, including concept of validation, raising capital, and also growing and scaling. And below that, you will see here that you can create, edit, share, and track the progress of your presentation decks. And you could also select other options such as pitch decks, general, marketing, sales, and many more. And below that info, you could also see here the investor tracker, your startup calendar, the fundraising kit, and any other details. While well, by clicking on the presentation templates on the left side panel, from here you will see a variety of lists of templates that you can use on select in creating a presentation. While well, under the My Presentations option on the left side panel, from here you will see on the right side panel the list of your presentation that you created or that has been shared with you. And aside from that, under the Investor Tracker, from here you can add Investor to start tracking your interactions, in which you will see here the name, the labels, the status of it, the source, the date it has been added, the last contract, and even the next reminder. Now moving on to these document templates, from here you will see a variety of templates that you can use in creating a document such as blog, financial model template, and also for fundraising, including the cap table, data room checklist, and many more. And in order to use any of those templates for document, just proceed by clicking Show Template button below that, and it will show you the layout of the specific document templates. And aside from that option, you could also navigate the startup deals. However, you could only get those deals if you have an upgrade account. And those deals including Amazon Web Services, ClickUp, Taylor Brands, and many more. And aside from that, you could also navigate the startup lessons that will give you a recommended playlist in order to grow a startup, in which below here, you could also watch other videos in order to expand your knowledge about pitch decks, financial models, and many more. But some of those videos need to have an upgrade account in order to play. Now moving on to the last option on the left side panel, is book an expert, in which from here you could also see some other expert that you could book for a period of time with its corresponding prices and benefits that you will get from them. 
And now to start creating a presentation on Slidebin, just proceed by clicking Presentation Templates. And below, you can choose a specific kind of templates that you want to start with. If I click on View, you will see on the right side panel the preview design and layout, including the content that this template contain. And to start using or designing a template, just proceed by clicking Use this template button and you will automatically be directed on this page. And from here on the left side panel, you will see each slide that this template contain. And you could also drag it down or up to rearrange the position of the slide. And aside from that, you will see here on the top panel some of the editing tools that you can also use in customizing or designing your presentation. We have here Add New Slides and also Edit in which you can undo, redo, cut, copy, and even paste a data on your slides. And also by clicking on the slide, you can easily see here on the right side panel the properties that your slides contain, including its context. And aside from that, under the editing tools of insert option, from here you could also add new slide, add a context, media files, a chart, shape, and even a logo. And aside from that, you could also navigate the background option in order to choose or customize your background color, your background style, and even your background image. Also, under the animation editing tools, you can start making an animation for your slide in order to make it more creative. And aside from that, by clicking on any of those elements on each slide, you will be able to customize some other elements, including the context of it, to change the style, the position, and even change the whole context. While by clicking this picture right here, we could also replace this picture from our computer files, or even select a picture that is offered for free on this platform. So let's say I'm going to choose this picture as a replacement. So kind of click on it, and from here, it will show you that the picture has now been change by the replacement and you could also customize the caption of it and even change the position in the slide and now if you're now done customizing some of the slide of your whole presentation in order to save the changes just proceed by clicking the share and collaborate button on the top right corner and upon clicking on it it will show you that in order to share and collaborate you must have an upgrade account in order to do that. Since having an upgrade account, you can access all of these benefits and also access some other features. And aside from that, you can even invite other friends by entering their email address and to create your own team. However, as I said earlier, the upgrade account that they offer is only these two such as All Access and Accelerate Plan. However, it will be worth it given the benefits and other features that include it. So that is just how you can use the slide bin. Thank you.